Hi there and thank you for watching the next section of learning Kali Linux video training series. In this section we're going to continue talking about the scanning using Nmap. So we talked about Nmap and started obviously doing some introduction about Nmap and how it's used. In this video we're going to talk about OS detection with Nmap and how we can basically detect operating systems using Nmap. So there are a few different options on Nmap which could be used for OS detection. Basically, dash O or dash A are the most common options that they are used on Nmap. And basically using dash O or dash A option, you can tell Nmap to try and do some fingerprinting on the operating system and try to figure out what the operating system is. So Nmap would do some port scanning and obviously would do some analysis based on the identified ports, open and closed ports, and try to figure out what the operating system could be. Obviously, we have different port structure or different ports used differently on Windows and Linux, and that's how it actually can figure that out. So I'm just going to start with an example. So I'm just going to go back to my Kali Linux machine, as you can see. I'm in the command prompt here, so I'm just going to type nmap-o and 192.168.56.200. If you remember, 200 is the IP address of Linux machine, which is a vulnerable OS version 2. So I just do that and then wait. And after a few seconds, you can see that it identified all the open ports. And then further down the screen, you can see it is Linux 3 point x or 4 point x and it's talking about linux kernels and it just identifies that it's a linux version and gives you some information about the operating system so i'm just gonna go back and redo this for my windows machine so as you can see dot one is my basically laptop and if i do that for my laptop what nmap would do this time would do the scan on my basically windows machine and as you can see it identifies all the ports that obviously they are associated with Windows and it identifies it's a Windows 10 built 174 and so on. And it basically is a very good tool to give you some level of understanding about the target and understand basically what operating system is running. So now if the operating systems, they have firewalls running, it's very hard to determine the operating system. So I'm just going to Go back and show you an example here so i just go and as you can see my windows firewall is off so i'm just going to turn it on and once my firewall is on on my windows machine i'm just going to go back to my kali and try the same command that i ran before so this time i just run it against my windows machine again 192.168.56.1 you can see it's a little bit slower, obviously, because it's trying to figure out the ports and scanning port numbers. And because the firewall is on, it is basically unable to find the ports and it is unable to ultimately detect the operating system. As you can see, it says too many fingerprints match this host to give specific OS details. So obviously, because it couldn't find enough information that it needs, it's very hard for Nmap to identify that. So in these scenarios, sometimes you have options, which I'm going to talk about that in the slide again. But most of the times when the firewall is on and there is really not much services running on the machine, that's what you will expect to see that. One useful option that I'm just going to explain to you is just to save time when you're doing OS fingerprinting on a range of IP addresses or a network is dash dash OS scan limit. So by using that, basically you're telling Nmap to avoid trying to detect the OS if you cannot find one open and one closed TCP ports on that host. So if that host has a firewall basically enabled or doesn't have any services running, Nmap cannot find any open or closed port on that host. Nmap is, won't try for a long time to identify the OS. So the other option that is useful is dash dash os scan yes or dash dash posi so that looks like a single dash here but that's actually dash dash 
So these two options are basically just used for Nmap to try and guess an operating system if it cannot really find that. So it works in some scenarios, doesn't work in some scenarios. There is no really guarantee that it is going to always work. But if Nmap has kind of a limited knowledge and, and could guess basically what the target operating system is, but it's not sure, it would basically, using these options, would uh, return the result for you and it would give you basically what the operating system could be.